All right, Kryptonauts. Well, what are you guys seeing here, man? We are seeing a drop of Bitcoin below the 40,000 support level. Uh, today's date is 21 January 2022. Not looking too good. And Ethereum's looking even worse at a negative 9% drop at 2859.78. This is a sea of red. This is doom and gloom, folks. But remember what Warren Buffett said. What did Warren Buffett say? I think I think he said, when there's fear in the streets, that's when you accumulate. That's when you buy. You go against the masses. You go against the common fear and greed. And then you start stacking. You start accumulating. Again, I'm an idiot in a server room talking to you on an iPhone. If you take financial advice from me, that's your problem. Do your own research and don't listen to anybody, anyone on YouTube. Half those fools you watch who have these big channels that talk about crypto, oh, it could go up, it could go down, it could go sideways. Like I said, it could go backwards. These fools don't have any freaking clue and they have trading view up with all their lines and their trends and their patterns. It means nothing. Everything is cyclic. It's gonna go, probably go back up, right? I mean, if it's not, it's going to go to zero. Then you learn, oh, I lost everything. You write it off, say, well, I just lost 5,000 bucks or whatever, right? That's the way it goes in investing. Crypto is highly volatile, but it's been going up. So it is what it is. Do your own research. Do not invest more than you are willing to lose because you know what? Most times you do lose it. <laughs> you mostly lose it. It's like going to gambling. Guess who always wins when you go gambling? The house. The house mostly wins unless you can walk away. But anyway, there's greed, there's fear. Something to start thinking about. If you have some fiat, do you buy in? I don't know about mining right now. I don't know really about mining right now. I think maybe you just keep dollar cost average in like any good investment. It's up to you. Do your own research. I'll say it one more time. All right. So having said that and having seen, having seen this wonderful uh, sea of red, which is pretty amazing. But everyone on YouTube assured me it was going to go to 100,000. Yeah, I'm just kind of the uh, kind of the pragmatist here, kind of the cynic. It's like I never believe anything until I see it. So let's go. Let's get rid of this thing. Let's go to the fear and index for Bitcoin. There you go, guys. We are. This is uh, what the heck is that? 21 January date. Extreme fear. 19, man. We're at a 19. It was a 21 before. So yesterday was extreme fear. And then uh, now it's extreme fear. Last week was extreme fear. Last month was fear. Uh, do you know how to come, overcome fear? Do you understand the psychological uh, trick to overcoming fear? It's to get angry. When you get angry, then you start tackling your fears. So what do you do? Well, don't be afraid. Just go, okay, what's the smartest thing to do right now? And it's your money. Do your own research and figure it out. If you can't handle it, get out. I mean, get out of the market. It's just not worth the stress, right? We are at Ethereum fear. Not extreme fear, but you know why? Why? It's January 20th. So when they update this graph tomorrow, it's going to be extreme fear. All right. Yeah, as far as mining, I think we're at, my God, at 05 cents profitability per mega hash or hash. I can't remember what the, what the actual metric is. It's not looking too good. But it all depends on your philosophy. My philosophy is to stack. I like the old saying, stack Satoshis. And uh, just stack coins. I mean, that's all you can do. I mean, that's all I want to do is stack coins. I think, I hate to give a prediction, but I don't think it's going to, it's, it's cyclical. It goes up, it goes down. It's volatile. That's the nature of the beast. I just hold. I don't do a lot of trading. I just accumulate. I get uh, rewards. I get interest. And it all gets compounded back into the uh, crypto that I have. Ethereum, Bitcoin, basic attention token, uh, Litecoin, my nemesis. Uh, it's got to go over 400 for me to be happy with Litecoin. Uh, what else do I have? Voyager. And eh, that's about it. The other stuff is onesie twosies that I cannot even move out of a wallet because it's an ERC token, Ethereum token. And the, those fools want more in fees and gas fees to move the damn coin then the uh the coin's worth and that's why i really hate ethereum i like it because you can mine it and make money off it but when that thing goes to pos proof of stake i think it's going to tank because no one's going to give it the organic advertising word of mouth like oh ethereum go 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 how to mine ethereum it's going to be gone and they i don't know if they know that they're going to lose their fan base i don't know that's my hunch that's my prediction 
because everyone says it. I'm just an idiot in a server room right now with noisy fans. And I say these gas fees are way too high. I have a payout waiting on Ethermine right now. And I just set it at 40. It'll never hit 40 for the way the, the gas fee. It's at 250 now. And I moved up to 50. I'm never going to get my money out of this thing. It's, it's kind of stupid in a way. I want my money, but I can't get it unless I pay a huge fee to get my money out. <laughs> it's, I don't know. It's, it's, it's an interesting hobby. It's not, it's a hobby. Yeah. So I'm thinking about moving over to two miners and with two miners, I can mine ether mine, ether mine. I can mine Ethereum and then get paid out in the lovely Bitcoin, the guy that started it all. And here we go. So here's two miners.com. I have two laptops sitting on this puppy right now, and um, I'm getting 63.02 mega hashers, and I'm getting what? Oh, I got 58 bucks. Woohoo! Uh, then I get how much do I get a day? Three bucks in ETH a day. So look at this thing. Ethereum miners could now get payouts in Bitcoin and Nano with no fees and no delays. I don't know anything about Nano. I want to stick with the big boys, especially when you see. Bum, bum, bum. I see a red. Some of those altcoins, folks, I'm telling you, if you've been around since 2016 like me, some of these altcoins will disappear and you're going to go to your wallet and say, where's my exchange? I was had this or where's my wallet that doesn't know what this coin is anymore. Blah, 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 blah. And you just lost your money. I mean, you got the coin, but you can't do a thing with it. It's gone. Because right now, why is everything red right now? You don't see uh, any altcoin out here green. They follow the big boys. They follow Bitcoin and Ethereum. Again, I'm not a big Ethereum fan. I just mine it. And uh, But boy, once that thing goes to POS, I, I don't know. I won't miss it if it goes away. Uh, and I'm getting all these Brave ads. Hey, remember, use Brave. Use Brave browser because you'll get these little pop-ups and you click on the ad, Lamo, and you get paid in back. Basic attention token. I always say authentication. Basic attention token. And uh, that goes in your wallet right here. And then you can move it out to your upload wallet or whatever. You get paid to look at ads. And you don't have to look at it. Just click on it and then boom, go back to what you were doing. And also, I'm sorry that I'm not monetized on YouTube. I just do this for my own self and put out information that maybe should help others as long. And also chronologue what I've been doing just for like a, a, v, a vlog. So I have it in the future. And then I noticed that YouTube changed their policy where they have the they will put ads on any video they want to. So you, if you see ads, that's not me. I am not monetized. That's YouTube taking advantage of my channel, putting out content. I'm getting nothing. And uh, that kind of irks me because I don't want ads. I don't want you guys to watch ads. I just want you to go in and see the, see the stupid content I put out. I go, okay, that was interesting. Next. Um, I try to find a way to turn it off. You can't. So I was in Chrome and I saw it, but I always use Brave Browser and I, I recommend you use the Brave Browser. It's built upon Chrome. So it's just as good. It's private, hide your identity pretty much. It uh, makes you number one in that it doesn't feed you ads. Whereas if something's free like Chrome and all that stuff, you know what I mean? You're the product, you're the data they want. Uh, whereas you go to Brave, they protect your identity, they protect your information. And if an ad comes up, it'll pop it up and say, do you want to watch this ad? If you go watch YouTube videos using the Brave Browser, you see no ads. I mean, if the ads are in line in the video, I, they, Brave can't do anything about that. Um, but if there's ads that YouTube puts on front and back or segmented during the video, Brave will block them. And if you go to any website that has ads, it blocks them. The pop-ups, the banners, you don't even see them. It's, it's awesome. You get so... You get so spoiled with a Brave browser that when you go to Chrome or another browser, you're like, what is all this barf on the screen? And you go watch a YouTube video and you're saying, what is this crap? So even on your iPhone, don't even use the YouTube app. No, delete it. Go to Brave, download the Brave app, and then go to YouTube.com on your Brave and watch videos that way. You get no ads and it's great. I love it. I just go in the car. I'll pop open the Brave browser, go youtube.com. I'm logged in. I say, show my subscriptions. I don't want to watch ads. You know, if I have to watch ads, I'm not going to do it. So there you go. That was just a pro tip. I got off the tangent. But anyway, little video about fear and greed, baby. Fear and greed. Time to dig, dig deep. Dig deep and find out what you want to do. Sometimes, sometimes the best thing you can do is nothing at all. 
my philosophy is I'm just going to keep stacking coins, stack, 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 stack those coins and uh, see what happens. Hey, help my little channel out. Again, I'm not monetized, but you don't have to subscribe. Just give it a thumbs up. And let that thing play. And I'll get some view time. But uh, yeah, I'm sorry, sorry about YouTube slapping ads. If you see ads on my channel, I'm sorry, it's not me. I'd rather just do this non-monetized. And all I do is put links in the descriptions below that I get like a penny for every million dollars you spend. It's ridiculously horrible what Amazon pays out in affiliate fees, but eh, it's something, right? I might get a buck a year. Anyway, that's all I got. Talk to you guys later. Boom.